Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So as part of this video, um, uh, we are talking about HDP Certified Developer uh, exam and uh, again I will club a couple of things to demonstrate. In this case, I will be skipping uh, high query using vectorization because uh, um, I'm not, I have not uh, got material yet for this. In future, if it is required, I will add, but I will try to mix run a high query using test and output the execution plan for the high query. So these two are the things which I will try to explain. So first let us understand what is test. I will not get into too many details. So so far when we run the high queries, um, uh, either it have run uh, using test engine and MapReduce. So last few queries is actually using MapReduce. So you can see that the map uh, output of the map reduce and all. So TES is, uh, TES is another framework uh, which runs on YARN, but it does not use map reduce to process the data. It uses its own way of uh, dealing with the stuff using something called uh, DAGs. Uh, and you don't need to get into too many details here for the certification. For the certification, you just need to understand that there are multiple execution engines such as MR and TES and you have to change between those things. So the primary thing is you should know a parameter called Hive Execution Engine and you can see the current value of the Hive Execution Engine. It is MR here and if you have to change it to TES, you just have to change it to TES and then if you run the query, let me use uh, retail underscore ODS as a database let me see what tables it has. Rather than this one, let me use retail underscore stage as database. And there are multiple tables here. So in this case, let me run the query where orders uh, limit 10. Let me check how the data look like. So here, uh, the data is Unix timestamp. So the requirement of the query is uh, to uh, uh, to get the revenue by day so by date is order date is in orders and there is no revenue in orders if you go to order items limit 10 there is a field called uh, order item subtotal so if you describe on it you can see so there is a field called order item subtotal which will be which can be used to determine the revenue uh, for each order and we can aggregate up to the date level but for this we need to join the two tables so in this video i will try to cover three things actually one is join two hive tables run a hive query using test and then outputting the execution plan for the hive query all the three things i will try to cover okay so first let us come up with the query the query requires the transformation on the date so date, if it displays just like this, it, it need not make any sense. If the date is already in proper format, then we, you don't need to apply. But if the date is like this, because we imported through scoop and scoop have changed this. So you have to say from Unix time, cast substring and uh, order date, 1 to 10 characters as begin so uh, from unix time takes begin only as parameter and substring will convert this order date into the string type so i'm using the cast function to type cast it to begin now close it and then give a column name for this or alias for this which is order date and then i want to sum y dot order item subtotal to compute the revenue per day and uh, let us give the call name as revenue per day and then we have to join the two tables order so join order date sorry order items y okay on o dot order id is the primary key in orders and order order item sorry uh, order order id is the primary key in orders and order item already is the uh, foreign key in order items which will be pointing to 
order id in orders so here the join has to be between order id from orders and order item order id in order items table okay and then we have to do group by and uh, again group by we have to apply this logic because uh, the date is of type begin in the orders table we have to change it and hit enter okay here we should not give the y there is a syntax error now you can see that it is running in test context it is saying test session was closed and reestablished and it is doing the processing you in the test context it is still using the yarn um, uh, to execute but it is not using the map reduce okay now you got the results and it took only 16 seconds to get the results now uh, copy this query and do set hive execution engine to mr and now if you paste the query it is actually running it as a map reduce job so there is a difference the way it is uh, it has run using test context and the way it is running using the map reduce similarly if you are familiar with spark and all you can run hive queries in the spark context also if you want to use hive cli to do th those things you have to set hive execution engine to whatever appropriate engine uh, you want to use to process your data and in this case it took 29 seconds versus 16 seconds in test so test is relatively faster in running hive scripts and pig scripts uh, so uh, but it is supported only on uh, ambari cloudera does not have test out of the box so if you want to do this on cloudera you have to do certain configurations and installations which is out of the scope as long as you you have hortonworks sandbox and you can change the hive execution engine between mr and test you are good to go even if you don't have proper environment to practice as long as you you know this parameter set hive execution engine uh, as part of the certification they will not ask you to configure anything they will just ask you to run a query on a particular highway uh, execution engine and you have to use this parameter to do so okay and now for this query if you want to get the explain explain plan which is another learning task output the execution plan for a high query you can click on this link and it will take you to the syntax of explain and uh, you just say explain and give the query and it will give you all the details first you have to understand the dependency graph and then uh, in, in the dependencies you will have stages and for each stage it will explain what will be done for our query so in this case i am doing explain and paste that query and you can see the explain plan and you can see there are three stages stage 5 is the root stage and uh, stage 2 depends on stage 5 and stage 0 depends on stage 2 so uh, first it will execute the root and then it will uh, execute the dependent stages so uh, uh, stage 5 is the root and in this what it is trying to do is it is just trying to uh, query the data from orders and order items okay and also trying to apply certain conditions based upon the join which you have done because you have done the join internally it is appending this is not null condition to fetch the data which is only not null in order id and order item order id okay and as part of the second stage you can uh, see that uh, it is actually performing the join uh, so again within the stage you will see uh, map Oper uh, map operator tree and reduce operator tree because each job can run either as a map reduce job or map only job in this case the first stage is and the first stage which is stage 5 it just read the data again uh, it doesn't mean that it has run map reduce to read the data okay actual map reduce have happened here 
in the stage 2 and here you can see the map operator tree in map operator it is actually it has actually performed the inner join between orders and order items and then as part of the reducer it, it have actually aggregated the data because we are trying to get the revenue per day and then finally in the final stage it is just uh, fetching the data and presenting on our screen so this job this this execution plan have run using one map reduce job you can see that by going back here it has only used one job if you write more complex query it might have more jobs and uh, you will see the plan for each of the map reduce uh, jobs in this case uh, there is only one MapReduce job and that MapReduce job ran as part of stage 2 uh, uh, while executing the high query. So stage 5 is only to read the data from the, uh, it, it will also be done in the mapper only but uh, it, it is not considered as map. You can see here it is doing MapReduce local work. So it is actually doing uh, as part of the MapReduce job only. So in the same MapReduce job it will fetch the data as part of stage 5 and as part of the stage 2 in the first map reduce job it is trying to um, do the join as part of map operator and the aggregation as part of the reduce operator and finally the data is fetched onto the screen again within the scope of the same map reduce job in this case only one map reduce job ran to get the results um, which we want to look okay that being said i have covered all the three topics Uh, joining two hive tables, running a hive query using test and also outputting the execution plan for a hive query. When it comes to joining two hive tables, it is one of the more complex uh, thing and you need to understand all kinds of joins um, and you, you should be able to write left auto join, right auto join, uh, all type of queries uh, to accomplish that and uh, I will uh, record another video on joining the two hive tables from the certification point of view uh, the depth you need to know uh, to to run the uh, joins but as long as you are familiar with regular joins you can easily uh, implement those things okay so that being said we have also seen how to run a hive query using the test you just use set hive execution engine to set uh, to switch between test and mr and also we have seen how to output the execution plan by running the explain and we have gone through the details about uh, the interpretation of the execution plan. From the certification point of view, this is one of the most important areas which you need to master. There is no shortcuts around it. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you have any technical questions, please go to Stack Overflow and uh, write, write the questions with appropriate tags. If you want to discuss further about Hadoop certifications or certifications in general as well as big data, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity minus certifications or ITVersity hyphen certifications and ITVersity hyphen big data. Those two are for two different purposes. Certifications are for uh, industry standard certifications uh, discussions and big data is for anything related to big data discussions. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you.